Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're doing good this evening. Well, today's video is really geared towards the beginning gardener, somebody that has just started gardening this year. And if you're an experienced gardener and you're watching this, uh, please, your input, it's important. Everybody has, a, a, you know, their own experiences. And we want to share what we know with the next generation. So today I'm going to talk to you about a few things that, you know, I learned when I was a kid gardening and then some what I learned in just the last few years. And I'm going to show you a couple things that are really going to help you when it comes time to plant and to save time and just make it a, a more enjoyable. So guys, right off the bat, there's really one thing that I think makes people quit gardening. Uh, everybody gets excited when they start gardening. It's something new. Anytime we do something new, there's always that excitement. And we tend to maybe do a little bit too much. You have to watch time, okay? Um, plant only what you know you can take care of. Because in the springtime, you might have more time. But in the summer, maybe you've got obligations. And so you don't want your garden turning into weeds and then you get frustrated and you quit so the one of the best pieces of advice i can give a beginning gardener is keep it simple and then you can always add on later okay now the next one is plan where you're going to put things in your garden before the day you start planting and there's reasons for this uh, maybe, I'm not going to say that everybody will do this, but maybe halfway through the year you decide that you want to save seeds. Well, if you plant your pumpkins next to your zucchini, you know, you can get cross-pollination and then your seeds won't be any good. So even if you're, you're not planning on it, you might want to think about stuff like that, you know, before you put two different kinds of tomatoes together or, or something like that. So, guys, that's a couple real good tips there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of things that I wish I had been doing all along that I haven't really done until the last couple years. So, let me show you this. So, guys, this is where I'm going to put my tomatoes this year. Now, I, I drilled 14 holes, and I've got videos. If you go to my playlist, you can see how I do this, but... Uh, I actually got two more uh, rows over there. Now, I raise animals, and I can, so none of this is going to go to waste. But by doing this now, and I'm going to have my trellis up, um, everything is going to be ready when I go to plant my tomatoes. So it goes so much faster and so much easier. You know, I can have all these tomatoes planted in just a few hours. And if you've never gardened before, guys it just seems like everything comes on at once and you're trying to plant everything and avoid stress and we always want to do a good job when we're planting go ahead and get your holes ready for your for your peppers and and things like that your zucchini and stuff and, and that way all you got to do is just go out and plant you, trust me you, you you will uh find it a lot easier than just digging a bunch of holes the day you're going to start planting well, let me show you one thing over here uh, that I have found is really good, and I think I wish I had known this years ago. All right, guys. So behind me here, I've got I planted a cover crop last fall. Now this is mostly clover. Now I realize if you're just starting to garden this spring, you're not going to have time to plant this and let it grow and till it in. But if you planted it this spring and you were going to plant something towards the fall. I think you would have time for that. Now, if you have clay soil, this is great for that because, guys, there's a lot of organic matter when you mow this down and you till it in. Uh, the roots go down and they bring up nutrients. Uh, you know, it helps break that clay soil up. And this is always, um, this is a really good tip for a beginner. Uh, I'm going to plant my sweet corn here this year. And so... A, a, a ladino or any kind of a clover or an alfalfa you get a lot of nitrogen and sweet corn really really loves nitrogen so it's a natural fertilizer but it also amends your soil so guys I wish I had done this from the first time I had my own garden 
and uh, you know it, I hadn't really done it uh, except in the last four or five years so a really good tip there so guys let's go ahead and finish this up <laughs> all right guys now if you're new to the channel uh, please watch some of my other videos and if you like this kind of thing uh, you know I do a lot of experimenting and, and things like that I listen to the viewers I you know try to do some things that they suggest to do guys if you want please subscribe you know I really would appreciate it now my final piece of advice for a beginning gardener is don't turn it into work okay I love to garden. It doesn't matter what I'm doing, I don't consider it work. Don't put too much on your plate. Don't try to do too much, uh, uh, you know, all at once. And guys, when I'm out here and I don't care if it's hot, cold, whatever, I'm at peace. And you know, the whole world just goes away and I'm just out here with my garden. And that's what I want for everybody. I don't want to turn it into a science project and I don't want to turn it into manual labor. So that's my, my best advice for a beginning gardener. And please, let me know what you think. Well, hey, I'll talk to you later. You have a good night.